So, welcome to the April webinar, Making Your Wiki Mobile Friendly. I'm Sarah Morales, a Director of Community Support at Wikia, and joining me is Mira Salihovich, a Community Support Manager, and Stanley Tran, a Wikia Product Manager, who's in charge of our mobile products. So today we'll be talking about why it's important to consider mobile when working on your wiki. We'll introduce our brand new mobile apps that actually just came out this week, and we'll be overviewing how to adjust your wiki to look good on these both mobile apps and our mobile skin. At the end, we're going to be taking questions, so feel free to submit them at any time via the GoToMeeting software. These can be questions all about the mobile skin, the mobile apps, about us um, just developing these features. And if at any time there's any sort of sound issues, uh, just let us know and we'll adjust the mic. So why is mobile important? As you might notice, mobile devices, apps, and games are everywhere. If you ride the bus, if you walk or drive, you see people on their mobile phones. At home, work, and even in school, mobile devices are being used. And many of these people are looking at Wikia. In fact, over 20% of traffic to Wikia is now from mobile devices. That means one in five visitors to your wiki is using a mobile device to view your wiki. In the US, the percentage is even higher at 33%. So 33% of viewers from the US are coming to Wikia or doing it from some form of mobile device. This is a huge part of your audience and that number is only growing. You might be wondering what types of mobile devices people are using to visit your wiki. Well, in this uh, graph here, you can see uh, the different operating systems. So referring to both phones and tablets. The operating systems that you can see is most common is Apple, which is the iOS label, taking up just over 60%. This is followed by Android, which has 35%, and the remaining is 5% divided up into a couple different uh, systems. Within iOS, this is iPhones as well as iPads. And with Android, this includes hundreds of different types of phones as well as tablets such as the Google Nexus. So what about mobile makes it different from your desktop? There are a couple of main areas you need to consider. The type of mobile device. Phone and tablets are different sizes and they're often used for different purposes. The screen size. The most distinctive difference between a computer and a mobile device is the screen size. The content that takes up your full computer screen does not look the same on a mobile device as it does on that computer screen. This is very evident on Wikia when you look at uh, big pages with big tables or big galleries. Keeping your content flexible to these different screen sizes is one of the most important things to keep in mind when adjusting your Wiki for mobile devices. Stanley's gonna talk about this a bit later, but if anything is taken away, this is the most important thing to consider is really having these different screen sizes that people are viewing your content. Another technical area to consider is the processing power of mobile devices is less than your desktop. And the internet connection is also often less strong. Internet connection on mobile devices is usually over a mobile network like three or 4G um, rather than dedicated Wi-Fi. This means that pages that are slow to load are gonna load even slower on a mobile device. And lastly, an area to keep in mind is user behavior how and where users are using their mobile devices to consume content. For phone, users are generally getting quick bursts of information on the go. They likely are searching, reading parts of articles rather than spending dedicated time to reading an entire wiki in one sitting. Because of these technical and design setups, as well as the user behavior differences, we've developed and just released new Wikia mobile apps, as well as made improvements to the Wikia mobile skin experience. Mira is now going to take over and introduce you to the Wikia Game Guides app 2.0. Thank you, Sarah, and hello, everybody. So I'm Mira, and I'm working as a community manager here at Wikia. I focus mostly on supporting our international communities, and I'm the point person at the community team for the mobile platform. This means I work closely with the mobile team, especially Stanley. Um, so I'm very excited to introduce you to the Game Guides, an app we've been working on for the past couple of months. And it doesn't really matter if you're an active user on a gaming wiki or just a user who likes to read content from a gaming wiki, the Game Guide app will change your mobile experience on Wikia. Um, the Game Guides allows you to quickly find information about the game you're currently playing. The app was developed to enhance your Wikia mobile experience, and our main task was quick access to your favorite games and content directly from your mobile device. 
So while developing the app, we're heavily relying on data and analytics. As, and as Sarah already mentioned, the data shows that approximately 90% of our users are using iPhones and Android devices. So we focused mostly on serving those user sets first. And in order to guarantee a great user experience, we've tested the app on the majority of devices and operating systems, including but not limited to iPhones 3G, 3GS, 4, 4S, and 5, and also on the top 10, top 10 used Android devices on the market today. And um, you might ask yourself how to get the app, and it's fairly easy. Just search for it on the, on the App Store or Google Play if you have an iPhone or an Android device, and just search for the just search for Vikia or Game Guides, and you will find the app. A simple, a simple click on install, and so and soon you'll have, you'll have the phone on your app. <laughs> you'll have the phone on your app. Interesting. Um, <laughs> so for the next group of slides, I'll be walking you through the iPhone app. The Android app is very similar with a few setting differences because it's it's on a different platform. A screenshot, uh, the screenshots and how to exist for both of our game guide help page, which will be listed at the end of the webinar. So when you first start up the app, you will be presented with the home screen, which includes the top seven trending wikis at Wikia at this time. However, this list is completely adjustable. Um, here you can see the main navigation panel from which you can see what wikis are in your uh, game guide app. You can access your settings and you can access your home screen. In the navigation panel, you can reorder, remove and adjust the app settings. Here we are looking at screenshots of the iPhone version of the app, and the image on the left is the main navigation panel. To reorder or remove, just click on the pencil icon, which the orange arrow is pointing to. This will take you to the middle image, which is the reorder and remove screen. Here you can click on the red circle to remove the game, or on the menu icon, which the green arrow is pointing at, to grab and reorder the games. To access your settings, click on the settings link, which will bring you to a screen seen on the right screenshot and provides links to manage your app, learn about licensing, and provide feedback. We, act, we really would lo love to hear your thoughts, so please feel free to submit any thoughts or issues or feedback there. Now let's look on uh, how to find a wiki and add it to your game guide. So from your home window, you will see the option to add a game. Just, just simple by scrolling, scrolling all the way to the right, you'll see a, um, a plus button, and just a simple click on it will bring you to the option to add a game. So just click there and you'll be brought to a search page. Start typing a name of a gaming wiki and you'll see results begin to appear. Each option displays the name of the wiki and the language the, the wiki is on. Here you can see our search for StarCraft, which offers results in different languages as well as the, the wiki for Star, StarCraft 2. Wiki has thousands of wikis and many of them are on similar topics. So we wanted to make sure to display those that are similar to your search. Once you see the wiki you want to add, just click the plus button next to the, next to the name and the wiki will be added to your home screen. Um, once, you're the, on, once you're on the home screen, you'll see all of, your, all of your favorite game guide wikis. And all you need to do is tap the wiki name of the guide you, will, you would like to explore. Once you're in the game guide, the home screen there will show you the info button, the search button, and a content list, which you can sort by topics, which is a default view, and hot, which shows the most page views in the last week. Here you can see the game guide for the Fallout wiki. So what, what do we see on, on, on this page and what, are the, well, what do these buttons do for you? Tap on the info button to learn more about the wiki that supplies information for the game guide. This description and image is created by the wiki admins using the special promote page. So if you're an admin, it's really important to choose a high quality main image and write a good synopsis of your wiki. And as a game guide user, you also have the option to let the wiki admin know if and how they can improve their guide. The search button allows you to search within the wiki. <coughs> to explore the content in the guide, on the home screen, just click on one of the categories that are listed. This will take you to a list of subcategories from which you can access the article pages. On the article page, you will notice the content section are expandable and collapsible <coughs> based on a table of contents. This allows you to quickly scroll to the section you are most interested in or view the whole page. If the page contains an info box, this will be on the top of the page as seen here in the screenshot. Images can be viewed in a larger light box just by clicking on them, and this will allow you to flip easily through all the images on that page. The article page layout in the app is based off the mobile skin, which Stanley will be talking about soon. He will offer you tips and help how to display <coughs> your, your, your wiki in the best way possible. At the bottom of the article page, you will see two letter A's. A simple click on them allows you to adjust the display, including the brightness, the font style, size, and text alignment. Next to the display option button, it's the bookmark button, and that, that's one of the features that I'm really most excited about. This allows you to bookmark a page, which will then be added to your personal bookmarks for that guide. 
you can access your bookmark articles right from the home screen of that game guide. The most exciting feature of the game guide, like I just said, <laughs> is certainly the ability for offline browsing. All of your bookmarks are saved for reading even when you're off offline. This becomes especially handy while playing a game and having a walkthrough ready, no matter your access to the internet. So that was, that was an overview of how to use the game guide. Now let's chat about how you as a wiki admin can customize what appears in your game guide. There are two pages you should update and make sure your wiki looks great in the app. Well, the first one is of course a special promote page. And as I mentioned earlier, the info page is controlled by what? What is in your wiki special promote screen? It's really important, I can say enough times, to include a high resolution photo and provide a good description of your wiki. The other page is the special game guide content page and it can be turned by admins on the, on the special wiki features page. This is an admin only page that can be thought of as a similar to your wiki's navigation. It is here where you can adjust what categories appear in your game guide app. Good categorization is, key to make, to, is a key to making a great game guide app. So let's look at the example here. This is a screenshot from the Fallout wiki's special game guide content page. You can see in the top row it says Fallout. This upper level row is called a tag and, it, and it's what appear on the, on the top level of the content list in your game guide. This can be adjusted at any time to any freeform text, but we recommend it includes an upper level term like the game series installments, walkthroughs, or something similar. Tags include category groups, and you can add a new tag on the bottom of the page. <clears throat> Below the tag row are two columns. The left column is where you add the category that you would like to populate the guide with. To the right is the word that is displayed for the category in the content list. As you can see, the first row, the category follow-up quests, will be displayed as quests. To the far right of each row are buttons to add a photo for the row, delete it, or reorder within the guide. If you'd like to add a new category, you can do that at the bottom of the page and move it, and move it to whichever section you prefer. So it's all that easy. You can edit the page at any time, and we encourage you to, to do update your <coughs> and we encourage you to update the, the page as, you, as your wiki updates. And I'm now going to hand the mic over to Stanley talk about MyWikia and the mobile skin. Thanks, Mira. Hey, everyone. I'm Stanley, the product manager of Wikia's mobile team. Mobile products that we're been, we've been focusing on include game guides, which Mira just walked you through, the mobile skin, and our recently released iPad app, MyWikia. I'm going to start the segment by talking about MyWikia. MyWikia for iPad is the first version of our official flagship app. What Wiki users like you do on a daily basis is truly special, so we wanted to maximize the probability that your Wikis can be found. We started on the iPad, which is 20% of our mobile traffic, and that number is quickly growing. The first version of the app was created for two primary reasons. One, to help new and existing users find more Wikis on topics that they love, and two, to make the reading, browsing, and exploration experience of your wiki streamlined, focused on the content, and personalized. So if you have an iPad, please, please download my wiki right now. It's available in the App Store. When you install it and open it for the first time, you'll see a setup screen where you can choose your favorite wikis through search or browsing trending wikis across Wikia or within a specific hub like video games, entertainment, or lifestyle. MyWikia is the name of the app, as well as your home screen. Any wiki you favorite will be added to your MyWikia home screen. Your favorite wikis are represented by modules, each with an image and excerpt from a trending article. Your favorite wikis will always be there, but the page will be dynamic with updated content. To dig deeper, simply tap on a wiki. Once in a wiki, you'll be presented with the ability to view the content by trending, all-time popular, or recently edited. It's a great way to get a pulse on the community activity, take a look at, all, at the all-time favorites, and discover new content. You can also click on the wiki name or the chevron right next to it to access the wiki summary dropdown. This dropdown provides access to the wiki nav, a summary, and stats about the wiki. This provides a good overview of the wiki for someone who may be new to it. The summary is pulled from Special Promote and can be adjusted by admins on the Special Promote page. So let's just check out an article. Here you see the Barry Zuckercorn page from the Arrested Development Wiki. Below the page title, you see attribution to the last editor. At the very bottom is the article action bar, which allows you to access the table of contents, 
the display options, the bookmark button, and sharing via email, Facebook, Twitter, and so on. You will also be, see something that looks like a scroll bar called a scrub, and it lets you quickly jump to other sections of the page, kind of like a Kindle if you use a Kindle. To have a clean, unobstructed article reading experience, tap once on the screen and the article actions will disappear. You can easily scroll through the entire article. Note that each section gets its own page. To keep reading, you can tap on an article link, or you can simply swipe horizontally to navigate to the next article in sequence. This makes it easy and quick to keep reading your favorite wiki's content. As you browse through your wiki on MyWikia, there are a couple of things that you might notice. Templates and tables are represented by placeholders uh, to make sure that the flow of the article isn't broken up. And when you click them, you're able to see them in their entirety in the light box. While inside a wiki, you can tap on search, which will allow you to search within the currently viewed wiki or across all of Wikia. So after bookmarking a whole bunch of article pages that you like, you can access them by opening the bookmark screen. Once a bookmarked article is open, you can swipe through the bookmark articles like your very own personally curated magazine. And in your settings, you can remove or reorder the wikis in your My Wikia page in case your interests change. Now let's chat about the mobile skin. You see the mobile skin by default each time you visit Wiki on your smartphone. The skin has been designed to optimize the article reading experience on a mobile device, visually and in terms of performance. Here you can see a screenshot from an Android device of the Tyrion Lannister on the Game of Thrones Wiki. You'll notice that the info box appears at the top. You can see the character info box here for Tyrion, followed by the page content. Right next to the title are social media sharing options, the chevron below the title is a table of contents, which is collapsed by default to save space. You can open the table of contents and tap on sections inside to jump to another section of the page. Once you read through the first section, you'll come to the H2 section headers in a collapsed state. You can tap on these to expand the section, making it easier to navigate through long pages on a small screen. Note that the end of sections also have the option to hide or collapse the recently read section. Below them is the Read More section, which is expanded by default, allowing you to navigate quickly to related pages. Um, something that's not seen here is that below that, you're going to see a Category section, which is collapsed by default, and Article Comments if they're enabled on your wiki. And at the very bottom of every page, you'll see a footer that contains links to the Wikia Hubs, licensing information, and a link to view the full site. So what can you do to make your wiki look good on our apps, mobile skin, and even the full site? Well, you, you can start off by completing your wiki special promote page as, as Mira spoke about in great detail. So I'm not gonna go into that too much. You can make sure your wiki nav is organized and functional. This is likely what a new user uses to explore your wiki's content. If you're a television show, you might want to highlight characters, seasons, and episodes. If you're a gaming wiki, you should highlight game series installments and walkthroughs for each. If applicable, add multiple images and or videos to each section of a page. Try to upload high, high resolution photos, since low resolution photos can look super pixelated on retina screens on iPads, especially in landscape. But it's important not to overdo this because I've seen a lot of wikis add thousands of photos to one section and the page takes a long time to load. So always keep that in mind. Be, be, be sort of smart about what images you wanna use in an article. And a reason why we don't use inline in content images in MyWikia is that when you change the size of fonts and screen sizes, you lose that image text association. An image you intended to be right next to a paragraph may appear in the next section in MyWikia. So we've pulled all media to be in a carousel at the beginning of a section, so you at least know that an image belongs to that section. Another great thing to do is to use template names that clearly indicate the subject of the info box. For example, info box and info box for characters most likely should be template colon characters. It seems super obvious, but it's always good to check. Also try to be consistent with all the templates that you use. Imagine if you wanted to make one sweeping change across all info boxes because there was something about them that was bothering you. It would be a pain to deal with each one if each one had its own non-essential custom features. 
Also, be selective with the use of tables. This is probably one of the important points for me. Uh, with more and more people using mobile devices, the content that you create has to be flexible and adapt to different screen sizes and orientations. Tables are great for organizing data, but not ideal for making page layouts. Uh, simple, sometimes simpler is better. One of our biggest issues um, with creating mobile-friendly content is putting tables within tables within tables within tables within tables. You get the picture. It makes your content extremely inflexible. And I think a main guiding principle is to keep things simple and to let the content speak for itself. And this isn't just for smartphones and tablets now. Just note at the note the variation of screen sizes of computers and laptops and pretty much everything. Um, and also, don't hesitate to let us know if you need our opinion on whether you're wh whether what you're working on is mobile friendly. We're glad to help you out. If you have an info box, some sort of template you'd want us to look at to give you some advice, feel free to do so. And there are a number of wikis that are doing a great job of formatting articles on mobile. And I want to particularly I'll call out, you know, the Dragon Ball Wiki, which has really cleanly formatted pages, good use of images. The, they add enough images without going overboard. There's the Elder Scrolls Wiki, Wiki which has really organized content. Um, and they had to do this because they had a really, really big year last year with Skyrim coming out and a lot of traffic coming to their site. And they also have very nicely formatted articles. So what's next? So this is just the start of our commitment to mobile. And one thing that we plan on working on is allowing you to preview the mobile skin and different apps inside of the existing preview light box. In a couple of months, when you open the preview light box in the editor, you'll be able to switch to the mobile skin or a specific app like Game Guides. When you do that, you'll also have additional options to view the preview and landscape, portrait, orientation, or view the content in different device resolutions. And we're doing this in hope that it'll make it easier for all of you to produce mobile friendly content. And after saying all that, I just have to say, I understand making things mobile friendly is not easy, especially a couple of years ago. Especially a couple, um, couple of years ago, nobody was thinking of mobile. And now we're moving faster and faster into a mobile world. So we're, we're getting a lot of feedback, but we're always looking for more. So please feel free to send us your feedback, bug reports, and so on. Cool. Great. Thanks, Stanley. So that is um, our covering of the mobile skin. We have a couple questions here. And as we collect them and as folks still send them in, which please do out there, this is your time to talk with Stanley, who is the product manager, so basically the brains behind our mobile skin and apps um, to send in questions directly to him and Mira, who is our main community lead. So basically representing um, the community for uh, the community team within the mobile kind of space at Wikia. Um, so please send in questions as you do that. Just a couple of resources. Um, there is a game guide help page that's out. Um, and as we build out more features, we'll get more help pages up there, but it gives you a breakdown of all the pages and tips that Mira went through here. Uh, this will this session is also being recorded, so we'll get that up on the help webinars page. You can rewatch it later and see also all the slides. And we are having actually a second April webinar um, in two weeks or so um, that's focused on templates and it's actually in the mornings for all of our European uh, folks, so it's not too late for you. Um, so hope to see you there for that. So. A couple of questions from the crowd and ones that have appeared on the staff blog that went out this week. Um, someone's wondering, will the iPhone and iPad use the same app or will they always be separate? Okay. So right now we plan on creating separate experiences, both for game guides and MyWikia. And the, I think this stemmed from us looking at other apps out there. And we felt that when they sort of ported an iPhone app into an iPad experience, it wasn't as good as it could be. So we really think that both the iPad and iPhone experiences are separate use cases and can be and should be addressed differently. So right now for game guides, for example, we have plans on working on game guides for iPad. And for my Wikia, we're definitely ex thinking of expanding to, to other platforms such as Android, as well as um, the iPhone. Okay. Okay. 
Um, someone had asked about getting access to the game guides content. That was basically what went, went over, but if you want to kind of repeat the best place for them to go. Well, if, <clears throat> if you're an admin, then like I said, the special game guide content page is, is, is the thing you're looking for, but it has first to be, an, to be enabled in the wiki functions. Uh, <clears throat> so in order to access them, enable them, and then uh, just open the special game guides content page. And there you will see all the categories and you can update it there. If you're not an admin and would like to, uh, to help out, then either let us know or, or contact the admin directly. And uh, in the case you let us know, I'll definitely put you in touch with the admin and we'll try to uh, try to curate content together. Yep. Yep. Everything Mira said was correct. And in addition to that, on the about screen in game guides, you'll at the very bottom, you'll see this little notification that says if you want to give the admin a little a little suggestion or something, or you want to help them out, you can also send a message right there. Um, one question, which is one of the ones that's been very common on the blog, is right now MyWikia is only a um, iPad app. Do we plan to expand it? Absolutely. And I know a lot of people are talking about timelines as well. So the plan is to actually have an Android version by the end of the year. And we definitely want to expand that on smartphones as well. It's just too early for us to commit to a date, but we definitely want to make sure that everyone has access to this to this great application. So, and by everyone, we mean we, we, we mean BlackBerry, we mean Windows, we mean everything. So it's just like Stanley said, it's hard to commit to a date, but the Android version will be out first, <coughs> and then uh, we'll keep an eye on, on, the, on the Windows phone and see how the market share goes up for them, and then based on that, we made a decision on, on a timeline. Yeah, um, we know that it's a big question, but as you guys saw, we are you know have to also consider what's the most popular and who's coming to IKEA the most so that um, so that we can you know plan to meet the biggest audience first. Um, one question is about CSS. Is there a specific CSS class for the mobile skin? Actually, right now, there's no local CSS for the mobile skin. We decided to take a path that um, a lot of companies have taken, such as Blogger or Tumblr and so on, where they have very different desktop experiences. But because the mobile, mobile devices, sometimes the screen is so small, the form factor makes it so that, you know, colors are louder or there's things are more cluttered so to ensure a more consistent experience and guarantee that it's legible to all users we we made sh uh, we decided that you know all 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 wikis are consistent throughout and we also wanted to do this for performance reasons making sure that we don't have to load other resources we we know that the skin will load at a certain amount in a certain amount of time um, in relation to the future of the apps, do you imagine any of these, such as MyWikia, having um, contribution uh, areas, so places to edit or add a photo or anything like that? Absolutely, that is definitely on the list. Like, if I if that wasn't on the list, I'd be fired. Like, so no, I'm <laughs> I'm being serious right now. Things like adding a photo and at least block level editing, like being able to let um, to edit at the H two level is really important to us. And we want to make sure that our apps will have contribution opportunities, for sure. Also, one, one of the most common questions that came in from the blog post about the MyWiki app was, um, why can I not log in and use my account, MyWiki account on the MyWiki app? And the most reason is that um, once, we, once we enable the features like editing and contributions, there's going to be an obvious option to log in with your account and use all the benefits you have on the desktop version. Great. Um, a couple of um, uh, other questions here. And some folks, you are writing in the, uh, some small bug reports, which we really appreciate. And we'll probably just write you back in text on those. Um, so uh, one question here was about um, templates being shown as just those icons. Do we believe there might be a place where smaller templates, so ones less than 2,000 bytes, might be able to be displayed within the app? That's something that we're definitely thinking about. We have to do a lot more research about, because we know that there are some wikis that are straight up text articles and this works really well for them. But for wikis that are awesome, like Yu-Gi-Oh, they're mostly tables because they're built like databases. And what we want to do for them is maybe make it so that we, we treat database like wikis in a different way that maybe these templates will appear rather than appear in, in placeholders. So this is something that we have to do a little bit of more research on. Okay, so 
we're looking at it and hopefully in the future, as we know, you know, some of these templates are ones that um, folks do really want to see. And we totally understand that because templates are a core part of mm -hmm. obviously a wiki. So it's one of the, remember, this is our first release of my Wikia. Um, and we have a very dedicated team. So there is more coming. Yeah, one of the questions that we just read is um, that the game guide app, the feature cannot be cannot be uh, enabled by, by by regular admins. And we know about that. We're working on it. This will be fixed ASAP. And uh, for now, what I can offer you, just write us using the, 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 the contact form at, at the info button on both apps, or just write a special contact, and I will enable the, the, the content for you automatically. Um, I'm pretty confident that we're going to fix that with the next release, and, and, and we'll give you access to, to, to special page. Yeah. Um, a question was received um, advice on how to view our wiki in the mobile skin, but is there a way to view the wiki as it appears in the game guide app? That's, I think, what Stanley was um, meaning for that's one of the next things in the future is being able to have those previews when you hit preview the page to be able to say, I want to preview this as a mobile scan. I want to preview this as a game guide. Um, so that is something that we're definitely strongly considering. Um, someone also earlier mentioned that you can uh, append your URL um, just to use the question mark use skin equals Wikia mobile. Yeah, question mark equals. Yeah. Um, and you can then see it. But often the best way to do it is if you or your friend or someone has a mobile device to really just see it on there because that'll give you a clearer look of what people are really seeing um, with, when they're on their advice and on their platform. And I think it's a really good way to see also, you know, how much of your content is showing. The things with, with tables and templates, it's sometimes hard to kind of wrap your head around it when you're on your 15 to 30 inch screen. Um, to move then to a five inch screen. So just thinking about that. And that's why we've made some of these decisions around the mobile skin to pull out some of these features that you obviously would want on your desktop browsing version, but just it looks odd and gets too cluttered in the mobile version. Yeah. And as you know, as you know, wiki editors or wiki admins, you are playing a lot of roles. I mean, sometimes you're actually the product manager of your own wikis, right? And some a term that we like to use in product management is above the fold, meaning what you can see on this screen without scrolling down. So if you imagine someone first, you know, going onto your wiki on, on a phone, you want that you want them uh, to land on that page with a big bang. So I, I know it seems kind of odd, but think about sort of front loading your pages with all the good stuff. Yeah, if you add a lot of things like um, notifications that that a page is a stub or, you know, this is out of a certain universe or things like that. That's that's super useful for, for an editor, but for the majority of your users, it's pushing down that content that they want to get to. So that that's, I think that's a good piece of advice. Great. Um, so I think that's most of the questions from the crowd. Like I said, anyone, I'm, there are a couple of bug reports, which we'll definitely just write back to you um, directly. Also, as Mira mentioned, you can write into us at community at Wikia. Um, also, check out on the staff blog right now on the community wiki. We have two blog posts both from Stanley that are um, one dedicated just to Game Guides 2.0 and one to the MyWikia app. Um, so please check those out and send in feedback. Um, also, if you're enjoying the app, we'd love positive reviews in the App Store because that's how non-Wikians help to find the app. So right. um, a big point of this is because we have so much traffic coming from mobile devices, we know that we need to help all of you market your wikis on, on these platforms. So we've um, that's a big part of it, too, is helping people find you while they're on, on their mobile devices. So um, please let us know your feedback. So yeah, like Sarah said, please give us good reviews. But other than that, uh, one, one important thing to remember when you're writing in, please list the device you're using and the operating system because the, the results and the, 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 the bugs you see, they might vary because of the device or the operating system you're using. And it's really, really important to us to know what phone or device or an operating system you're using out there. Yeah. Exactly. So I want to thank everybody for coming and hope that you check out the apps and the mobile skin and send us in your feedback. So have wonderful evenings and happy editing. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everybody. Have a good